On their great thrust into Belgium, the Reich hoped to reverse the Allied drive into Germany. Under Montgomery, the American First Army at Malmedy held firm against the concentrated Nazi fire. Malmedy is rubble and ruin, but the Allied lines are intact. In the south, Bastogne bears the brunt of the German assault. Americans encircled here fought on. Rescue planes rush aid to the trapped men. In Bastogne, the artillery crews had at one time barely enough ammunition for 10 minutes firing. Gliders brought doctors and medical supplies through to the trapped troops who defiantly refused every German offer to surrender. From the Dakotas, fall more supplies to the men who held out for seven desperate days. In one day alone, 400 American planes dropped 2,800 bundles of food and ammunition. Along the roads in the south, trucks rushed more men and supplies. Escorted by clattering tanks, the relief column makes its way through the German lines. Up ahead in this frozen landscape lies Bastogne, and a corridor must be cut through Nazi fire. German losses in the Ardennes offensive reach a record 100,000 killed, wounded, and captured. Nazi prisoners alone for all of 1944 total a million and three quarters on all European fronts. Hundreds of German tanks are destroyed. The relief column reached Bastogne, hurting their prisoners along with them. General McAuliffe is congratulated on his defense of the city by General Taylor, who, in America when the offensive started, flew the Atlantic to join his besieged men. The men of Bastogne laugh once again. These men held the hinge of the line at Bastogne. They checked the impact and turned the tide of the Nazi assault. Once again, Hitler's timetable miscarried on the Western Front.